Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Adil Faisal Rizvi, who started his journey from customer support and now he has become a Power BI freelancer. This video will be very important because as a fresher, you can learn how you can also become a freelancer in data analytics domain covering skills like Excel, SQL and Power BI. And I believe this is the first ever video on YouTube where we will be discussing about the freelancing related to Power BI. So do hit the like button of this video. It will definitely give motivation to me to create more useful videos like this. And friends, if you want to learn the data analyst skills, which includes Power BI, SQL, Excel and Python, then I would recommend you to go for Code Basics Data Analyst Bootcamp 2.0 and you can become an AI enabled data analyst. This bootcamp is very affordable. It costs Rs 6,300 and at the same time, the quality of the content is very good that I can assure you of. These are the things that you will be learning in the bootcamp. First, you will start with Excel, then Power BI, then SQL, then Python. And parallelly, you will be taught about online credibility, how online presence is important nowadays in the market. They will guide you in resume preparation. They will provide strategies to apply for the jobs in different companies. They will help in interview preparation and they will also provide a virtual internship which, which you can include in your resume too. At the end, after four months of hard work, you will be job ready in the market. So this is a brilliant bootcamp to go for for a very affordable price. I will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video. Please do check it out. Hello Adil, how are you? Hi Sashank, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm also doing fine. I have already given a short introduction to the audience. So let's start with the first question. So let's start with your educational background. So can you tell about your educational background in brief? Yeah, sure Sashank. Uh, myself, Adil Faisan Razvi. I belong from Godavari Khani district uh, from Telangana. So my background comes in when I completed my schooling from uh, SSC in the year 2016 from Singer and Collars High School. Later then I shifted to into technical domain which is mining engineering as a diploma uh, which is suggested by with my some of my family and friends actually which is trending actually at that time. So your highest degree is diploma you're saying? Yeah, yeah. diploma itself I have uh, done. What was the with, passing uh, year? Actually it's 2020. So uh, what did you do after your uh, diploma in, after 2020? Yeah, I've joined uh, some of the co company of non-IT into Limes as a customer support executive. So I, I worked there for uh, 1.8 years. Even the lockdown, I worked from home, uh, um, helping customers reaching my targets and everything. Later then I shifted to Airtel as a customer support executive. After the breakdown of lockdown, I was uh, came back to home. Like we can't move in like containment zones and everything. So I shifted back to hometown and exploring some other objects, but I didn't find anything. So I get started with freelancing with my experience into customer support and also export uh, many field works like uh, I've been into uh, working as a fuel station. I worked as a pump operator and later joined as a manager there and managing the whole petrol bump for one month. So from 2020 to how much time you were doing all these things? Basically, basically the work of customer support and other field works. Yeah, yeah. I was into like almost two years uh, from 2019. I've joined uh, when I came back to Hyderabad, uh, like I have given application into this uh, Reliance domain. Like there are opportunities for 10 plus two candidates, 10 plus three candidates. So I thought of this is a good opportunity for me to get into work and uh, started exploring independently and make some money with me. Okay, so you said that you started doing some kind of freelancing in customer support because you have been doing some customer support for the past around two years from 2020, right? So how did yeah. the freelancing started in data analytics to me? So after getting uh, into lockdown, I was exploring this freelancing opportunities. So with the experience of carrying uh, into customer support, so I up upscaled myself into data analytics domain with my with the help of my cousin. So I thought of uh, I'm, I was doing some and some and on and off on and off with uh, this customer support freelancing as a virtual assistant or leading a team into Amazon support or some other third party clients on telecalling. So after upskilling into the course of uh, data analytics, after three months, I gained some basic knowledge of uh, how to use tools, how to the basic of Excel, Power BI and SQL. So I explored uh, most of the work through Excel, Power Query, Power Tools, dashboard making in Excel. So that's okay. how I started into freelancing. What was that first skill uh, you did while doing the freelancing in data analytics? So I was uh, aware of Excel into when I started my journey as a customer support executive. So after getting promoted into some back office domain, I was managing this documentation. So I was aware of Excel skills. 
like we were tables power query data cleaning everything and documentation so i had hands on experience with excel like i started excel with basic projects on uh, sales domain like uh, analyzing data of sales e-commerce and some uh, retail stores so from there i started applying for uh, reaching out to clients like showcasing my work of, proof of work so i can get clients over freelancing at upwork and freelance uh, fiber okay so that was my next question so uh, you said that you have utilized that uh, platform upwork for the freelancing right yeah yeah so if somebody is a fresher or who is an aspiring data analyst right so or who is an aspiring power bi developer so how that person can start doing the freelancing in power bi so can you to- tell the things in detail like how to how to use the platform like upwork and how to create the profile and uh, what all things is required so can you please share your screen if possible and show the things in detail so that the audience gets benefited from it yeah yeah sure definitely i'll i will be sharing my screen here. yeah let let's let's uh, first talk about profile how we can uh, create the profile what all things is required so these are the steps so first, firstly if you want to create a profile want to create a profile on upwork so you can use these steps first you have to sign up to join in the corner fill registration details so next step you have to verify account you with your email uh, which is a gmail uh, mostly with the google account or any account you want to specify so then after you can basically go through the details like uh, like we used to do in linkedin is similar to like kind of that so you can use a prof- professional profile picture headline like what expertise you carry so if you are into expertise into excel power bi or tableau so an expert you can draw in a headline like like a headline like power bi expert with experience overview like uh, what skills you carry in power bi so you can add those experience like uh, dashboard reporting data cleaning data modeling portfolio like you have to show your proof of work like uh, in a work you need uh, proof of work to get carry with the uh, or getting clients you would must need uh, proof of work and mm-hmm. one must should share uh, verified verified i mean certifications in case you have skill from any course or edtech you have you can share uh, certifications related related to data analytics so that helps uh, clients to find easily and get verified with your account on uh, freelancing now can you sh- uh, show the same things on your profile so guys as mentioned uh, in the previous like uh, the checklist i've shared in the notepad so here's a basic demo of my profile mentioned about my basic details like uh, what i am what i am like what i do with the demo like you can add a bio here so in this field uh, you can add uh, your portfolio like can publish your reports with storytelling like what problems you solve in detail and as drafts and we can uh, also introduce yourself as a like video presentations uh, in our i mean video presentations in our project like uh, explaining what things we explored and what insights we discovered so through this we can add add some uh, presentations over here to better visibility to clients about your profile uh so here you can decide uh, hours per week as per needed to open up contracts like how many hours you can work the timeline and everything so you can add about your languages your very patient about your certifications and licenses in case if you have any about power bi or sql or anything you can add education details about your qualifications so after adding uh, your reports so you can uh enhance your skills like you can place like what skills you carry regarding uh, your data analytics domain you you have mentioned your rate is 15 dollar per hour so how 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 a fresher yeah. should decide his or her uh, rate and put it here the basic pay we can expect around 7 to 8 dollars per hour as a data analyst for a probably entry level uh, freelancer okay so, so then- as you grow up uh, you can start demanding uh, around 15 to 20 depend upon the client's requirement and we can negotiate with the client like i can work with uh, this much amount of uh, rates like yeah so my next question is uh, how a fresher with no experience on, uh, as a freelancer on upwork for example can reach out to any any client and get get a client basically how a, a fresher can get his or her first client so sushant so here's a personalized message to clients like how we can uh, reach out to clients here's a scenario, scenario example like we can consider you as, as a freelancer like expertise if i carry expertise into power bi reporting and data visualization so i can target the marketing manager or some mid life e-commerce e-commerce company so we can send a personal message subject uh, raising to the subject right we can write like i want to enhance your marketing skills with my power bi expertise we can uh, write it as with client's name and came across like 
if you go through his uh, requirement on upwork or linkedin or anything you can find on uh, so you can request like you have i came up to your company and impressed with your growth in e-commerce so as a freelancer i have expertise in power bi so i can help you with the reporting and data visualization part so i can help you unlock marketing insights i have worked with uh, some of these projects and like and you can share and add uh, some of the valuable uh, marketing insights uh, projects so that will help uh, client to understand what expertise you carry in and what uh, value you can bring into his uh, work so mm -hmm. you can you include your services like uh, what services you actually carry like uh, what you can do to the client uh, after getting uh, the work so you can mention uh, something like i can create an interactive dashboards to track key performance using kpis you can create uh, the sales and uh, i mean the kpis which uh, uh, which we mentioned above we can develop a data visualization to identify trends and opportunities of the market analysis of the freelance of uh, this e-commerce space of the, of the client building reports to measure campaign effectiveness like how effectively we can uh, engage with the market uh, measure campaigns so how effectively uh, the e-commerce uh, space can grow up and how which which uh, products are going up and down like analyzing the best uh, top 10 products top bottom 10 products analyzing the whole historic and prediction ma uh, making predictions of uh, data analysis uh, using this uh, like services which you include and which you like, carry expertise in right so right so that's how we can personalize a message yeah so people yeah. can just note it down from here like how you can also reach out to any client with this kind of personalized message yeah. so it will also help you so please note it down now i will can you show this on the screen also like on your profile also how in actual uh, this will work like how to get see any kind of client and search any kind of client on upwork for example i have made filters of the demo account like uh, i have searched for power bi projects if you are reaching out to power bi projects mainly so power bi has been uh, booming in this industry since uh, last few years like we the payout is really well for the freelancers work here so i have set up some filters and category i choose in category this uh, into data science and uh, categories like clients to find out i set the price to 100 to 500 dollars uh, per project so from here you can uh, specify categories like from here category experience level you carry from entry level to intermediate level and expert level and you can choose the hourly or fixed price fixed price mainly differs from uh, like uh, how you deliver the work uh, to a fixed price like there will be negotiation like uh, you can get the requirement too early or like, like after getting the work also you can you have you can get some uh, help from client to like we need some changes so hourly rate uh, will be a good choice to increase your efficiency and the payout so here's a good project uh, seeking in power bi so dashboard so when we click on this here it shows like uh, what are the requirement we can check out like uh, what the client is uh, required uh, like we shared that project overview so we are in search of specialist uh, into microsoft web to create dashboard that report will uh, the report will clients in it desk message so he is he is doing requirement into it desk uh, metrics so he need uh, metrics uh, to be done using power bi into it desk to help his it desk uh, metrics how to apply from here like uh, if you click on apply now then what all things we need to yeah, yeah. fill so when we keep on apply it reach uh, take out to another page he needs requirements uh, i mean metrics into his uh, it desk so we can choose uh, to submit proposal like we can choose our uh, the job details so he has a rentimeter level and he is the payout uh, the client is paying is around 22 dollars to 54 dollars the hourly range what is this uh, can you go on the top this proposal requires 14 connects what is this yeah shashank as uh, previously when i worked with upwork uh, there are free connects they are sending i mean they are uh, addressing like to redeem uh, into free connects like we can reach out to clients at that time using free connects but uh, recently two weeks back uh, upwork uh, proposed a new update like they have uh, charging from freelancers so in case you need to connect uh, you have to pay some amount like investment to buy connects to get uh, submit your proposals your work to find clients over there how much connects a fresher should buy initially if they have to start it for a fresher i 
think uh, around uh, maybe 150 to 200 uh, connects will be helpful and how much time it took for you to get the first client when you started so when i started as a freelancer data analyst at upwork uh, it took me around uh, 45 days as mentioned i uh, have also shared uh, you you know you know like uh, I have been posting on consistent LinkedIn on about my journey. So it took me 45 days to find my client. So as the competition is very increasing, so you need to have very good skills and to stand out among other freelancers. So in 2024, if you want to start freelancing into data analytics, you have to go through these uh, points like uh, what actually requires. So I have shared some key points. Yeah, so uh, many freshers or many aspiring data analysts complain that they are not getting the full-time roles because of very limited opportunities. So in parallel, you can start doing some kind of freelance work. So uh, you have to do a little bit of investment for, for buying the connects as we have discussed a few minutes ago. But once you have done this, so my next question to uh, you Adil is that if somebody gets started with this, now how much a person can earn by doing the freelance project in Power BI? Because that is the main motivation, right? How much one can earn? So what is the pay range that one can earn, uh, I would say monthly? So guys, here the checklist, like uh, how much a freelancer uh, into, if he is working into Power BI earns. So here's a basic uh, key points that I have mentioned, uh, can go through this. Like earnings of a Power BI freelancer widely depends on several factors, like project scope, client requirement, client type, freelancer expertise, location. So here are some general estimates of Power BI, like generally sense, like how a Power BI freelancer earns. Uh, for basic projects uh, like dashboard creation, you can earn per hourly around 25 to $50 per hour. If the project value adds uh, somewhere around 5,500 to $2,000. So suppose uh, if you're working as a medium complexity project, so you can earn uh, hourly rate around 50 to $100 per hour. That's a great uh, uh, payout uh, if you have the right skills. So on a monthly basis, how much uh, do you earn now as a freelancer in Power BI? So it's around uh, 25 to 27K within uh, 14 days, uh, Shishan. Uh, so Adil, thank you so much for giving your time and explaining all the things in detail. It will definitely help a lot of freshers who will be watching this video. So thank you so much for giving your time. Thanks a lot. Grateful.